so you're all basically here because uh, you know Mr. Ellis or you've been forced to come here by uh, Ronan. Uh, uh, so basically we're just going to start with a simple kind of Q&A kind of thing. I'm going to ask a few questions and then if anyone wants to jump in at any point, raise your hand. And uh, not you, Val. Uh, anyone else can raise their hand and we'll, uh, we'll get the ball rolling. So um, firstly, thank you for coming. Okay. To Galway in Ireland. Um, we were talking earlier and you mentioned you hadn't been to the Republic before, but no. you'd been to the North um, for, I believe, Gareth Dennis' Stag Night. Uh, yeah. <laughs> just, uh, just a quick thing. Uh, I've been to the North a couple of times, uh, and one of them was for Gareth Dennis' Stag Night, yeah. Um, I just want to say, if, if you guys don't know Gareth Dennis, he wrote a uh, Preacher. Um, <laughs> yeah, there you go. And, uh, and lots of other really, really good stuff, uh, like The Boys. Um, but, uh, yeah. Yeah, you, you want me to tell the story of... of <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> um, of the stag weekend, um, there's this island uh, off the eastern coast of Northern Ireland called Rathlin. It's about five miles off the coast, and it's a little L shape. It's like three miles that way and two miles that way. And there's a shop, a hotel, and a pub. And a few cows. <laughs> and that's it. And he basically booked the island <laughs> for his stag weekend. And uh, 12 of us went up there and uh, I'd researched it before. And it turned out it took 45 minutes on the ferry to go five miles. And I said, so how can this possibly be true? And he says, you'll see. <laughs> At which point I should have cancelled my ticket, but I'm, I'm English and therefore stupid. What are you going to do? Do you guys remember the film Perfect Storm? <laughs> do you remember the poster? <laughs> Little bitty boat down here. Fuck off great wave. But no, yeah? It turns out there are three currents that come up from the Irish Sea and five that come across from the North Atlantic and they all meet on the line the ferry takes from the coast to Rathlin. <laughs> it was horrifying. And I got off the boat and I turned around to him and I said, are you happy now, you bastard? <laughs> and he said, yeah, that's exactly what I wanted. I said, what, apocalyptic? <laughs> and he said, yeah, I'm getting married. <laughs> <laughs> so I walk into the hotel, which is a converted boathouse, and I say to the woman, where is the pub? And she says, it's just on the other side of the bay there. And I said, great, when does it close? And she said, December. <laughs> I actually said, yeah, what? And she said, yeah, they close on Christmas Day for half a day for dinner. Otherwise, if there's anyone who wants a drink, they stay open. <laughs> and sure enough, it's three, four o'clock in the morning. The barman comes out and says, anyone up for toasted sandwiches? <laughs> And a couple of hours later, he's put an oar to another member of his family to take over. And we were drinking for two or three days. <laughs> and then it was time to go back, and the weather was very bad. And if the weather is very, very bad, the ferry doesn't go. But if it's just very bad, they'll chance it. <laughs> so we're in there having our final drinks, talking about how we wanted to be remembered. <laughs> <laughs> and this uh, rescue lifeboat, this RNLI lifeboat, pulls into the bay. And these 12 lifeboat rescue guys, the RNLI guys, all in their, their orange coveralls, leap out of the boat and run into the pub and start drinking as if alcohol was going to be banned in the morning. <laughs> And we realised that if the weather was just very bad, then we would be on the ferry, and these were the people we were counting on to save their lives. <laughs> I remember distinctly on the way back, there was this uh, uh, comics writer, Mal Coney, um, also I think ran a comic shop in Belfast for a while. Mal has got the worst luck of anybody. It's a really bad luck. And the best way I can illustrate just this supernatural quality to Mel is that on the boat back I saw this huge wave surge over the side of the ferry hit only Mel 
drenching from head to toe, and then the thing sucked itself back up in slow motion, <laughs> not getting a drop of water on anyone else, <laughs> and back over the side. I, I really thought I was going to have a cardiac right there and then <laughs> laughing. It was, it was bizarre. Uh, Did you, you have another question? Can yeah. I go now? Um, yeah, yeah. yeah. Thanks for watching. Uh, no, um, I was going to say you said okay, your English is very stupid, but if you look at the, um, you know, American comics industry, I would say like that the, the big three, if not four or five, are all British. But Alan Moore, yourself, Grant Morrison, Gareth Ennis, and from what I can tell, you all seem to learn writing comics from the same one-page script idea in Judge Dredd. Uh, Alan and Grant are a, ge uh, are a generation yeah. behind me. It was me and Garth, particularly. I think um, Mark Miller said that as well. And probably Mark, yeah. um, who learned how to write comics from literally one page of script was reproduced in like a 2000 AD summer special or something. Yeah. And we all learned how to write comics from that because that was the only comic script we'd ever seen. And in fact, probably the only piece of comic script that was in print for like 10 years after that. Mm. It is like 1979, um, It's just weird because like, um, you know, there's a lot of people here from like writer societies and the comic society and if they want to look at a comic book script, there's like the comic book script archive, some more things now because of the web that you can basically have this idea, what kind of form do I put it in? Is yeah. it this? I mean, um, do you think that, you know, that is in any way improved? Uh, the, the quality of writers can think oh, the availability of God, yes, just, I mean, yeah. I mean um, availability of information is paramount and back in the dim and distant past where there wasn't an interweb we didn't have any bloody information yeah. if there was a book we wanted to look at, I mean for me I had to go into London and I had to troll around tiny tiny antiquarian bookstores or <coughs> occult bookstores that were always, always run by perverts. <laughs> <coughs> always. It was always the same kind of guy who used to be an estate agent. But he couldn't get laid, so he became a quote-unquote occultist. <laughs> and now he could shag all the underage schizophrenic, schizophrenic people that, you know, his heart could possibly desire. It was... You've got no idea... <laughs> You've got no idea the hell it was before the internet, I tell you. <laughs> it's, um, you know, there, there was a time where you just couldn't find a funny picture of a cat in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> um, just looking back at your early career, it seemed that you went, I mean, it seems like, I'm sure it wasn't the case, that you went almost overnight from working in a bookshop to writing for Marvel, uh, Excalibur. Yeah, it, it was overnight, apart from those three years of <laughs> starving. <laughs> um, how did that come about? You, Excuse uh, me, the Germans gave me a cold. <laughs> <laughs> the first three letters of their name should have been an indication there, I think. It's German. Um, you, uh, <laughs> Could have been worse letters. The English gave me a cold three months ago. I don't want to know the details of that. He made me hug Oh, dear. Was it a naughty hug or...? I, I love Lenny, but Lenny is always on. That's Lenny doesn't have an off switch. He's always, Lenny Henry! <laughs> so we're having a meeting about something in a club in London, and he sweeps in, and I get up to shake his hand, and he's like, no, I'm going to hug you. <laughs> like, oh, Christ, all right then. <clears throat> and obviously, <laughs> I, I just wasn't fierce enough. Room full of people bellowing at the top of his lungs, COMMIT TO THE HUG! <laughs> <laughs> Found out later, he'd just gone back from Africa and he was just crawling with every fucking ditch disease. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so it's these three years... Wait, well, that's sorry, before I was insulting TV personalities. <laughs> uh, right where you wanted to be, I imagine. Jesus, is this being videoed? Actually? <laughs> <laughs> that's just a prop. It's, it's, it's fine. It's from my uh, bedroom use. Right.